Last thing in the pack is the Sea to Summit Event compression bag. This is a stuff sack with compression straps on the outside. I actually ripped one of these off right here. This little joint for the strap broke off and I had to use my sewing kit to sew it back together. In here, I kept a few things just for organization and simplicity. Instead of having a separate bag for my air mattress and uh, my sleep clothes, so I had a long sleeve shirt to sleep in and a pair of gym shorts to sleep in. All right, so those were in here. I had my Cedar Ridge Outdoors top quilt. It's made for hammock camping, but it worked just great on the trail at Philmont. It's a 20 degree bag, custom printed with our Gear Report logo. So thanks to the folks at Cedar Ridge Outdoors for putting this together for me. It worked great on the trail. It has these little snaps at the bottom so you can open it up and have it just like a blanket or fold this in to give you a little bit of a foot box and you can cinch it up or open it if you want more or less ventilation around your feet. This worked pretty beautifully. This is using their insulation. I thought it was a joke when they first told me, oh, you're allergic to down, you should try up. I was like, aha, real funny, clever calling it up. But no, that's their synthetic down alternative insulation, they call it up and that's what this is and it worked really well it compresses down almost as well as down it's just about as warm as down it's very very similar to down but i'm not allergic to it so thank you so much cedar ridge outdoors for putting that together for me in the same bag for organization i had my inflatable air mattress this one is by a company called chuga it's uh, some Chineseium stuff off of Amazon. Uh, this is a little bit under a pound and uh, you know, inch and a half, two inches thick, so it worked well for what I needed. Blew up pretty easily. This uh, came with a pillow, an inflatable pillow that had elastic strap on it. I'll put some pictures up so you can see what it looked like out in the field. But this blew up and then strapped around the top of the mattress pad so it didn't slide around. And then I had another inflatable pillow that I blew up to set between my knees because I've got some lower back issues where I need another pillow between my knees to keep everything aligned properly on my spine or my back hurts in the morning. So these are probably three ounces each and a little bit less than a pound. So for a little bit over a pound, you know, uh, approaching you know, a pound and a quarter, pound and a half, I've got a good air mattress and a couple of pillows and then about two pounds for the top quilt. That's a pretty efficient sleep system. And we had some nights that got pretty chilly, close to freezing when we were up in places like uh, Comanche Peak. Mm -hmm. So it did pretty well. I got a little chilly uh, in, in a few occasions and uh, you know had to rely on putting an additional layer of long underwear or something on. I am a big fan of the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket as well, but that, if you're going later in the summer when it's warmer, I think you can get away with that and some long underwear. If you're gonna go in June when it is a little bit cooler, then you may need something with a few degrees lower of a rating in order to be sure you don't get cold at night. But that completes the sleep system, and uh, I think that's everything. So let me know what questions you have. I wanted to also show you from the crew gear, we had a tarp. Now a tarp, Philmont will let you use the